okay guys so to start off with i'm gonna create a background first so if you want to skip this part you can just move to the part that you want to watch and i will be giving timestamps down in the description so basically what i'm doing is i am using this brush i actually forgot the name of the brush but yeah if you're using procreate you can find this brush and this is basically a few a bunch of leaves together and i'm using that brush to create a really a green kind of background not green in a sense that we have a lot of trees plants in the background and using the pressure sensitivity i am making sure that some of the brush strokes are kind of really pigmented and some of them are um, kind of really light as compared to other ones so that what it will do is it'll just create a depth and you don't really have to use different colors to create depth uh, for this background so as you guys can see it is looking nice already and it looks like it's going deep it looks like a forest of some sort so that was the kind of look i was actually going for and i'm trying my best to explain you guys because it is kind of hard to explain this part so yeah i did that and i also went ahead and picked up a lighter green color just to add more lighter areas over those little trees plants whatever you to call it so that's that and that's how that's how easy it is i always keep the background that i create easy because at the end of the day i always go ahead and add gaussian blur to them and that's why i don't worry about them being so perfect because i know that i am going to be adding gaussian blur but if you don't add gaussian blur to the background so you can just just be a little more perfect about it but yeah adding gaussian blur helps to make the main subject stand out more and it's raining outside so if you hear some noises i'm sorry about that so i'm just going to start it with um the flat portrait or the flat character that we are going to design and again i'm not being really specific about the face shape just yet because we'll be fixing that later with the liquify tool so that is why i was just quick about it and i was just really casual and easy about it and that's how you can do it too because it should be easy flat character design should be easy not complex at all so don't worry about the shape the face shape or any other shape so yeah i basically created these different shapes one for face ears neck her clothes her hair and everything of that sort and I went ahead and filled those up. That'll be the first step. And as you guys can see, I am actually adding Gaussian blur to the background as usual. So yeah, once that is done, now what you wanna do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and start drawing the eyes. And for the eyes also, I just created these little white circles. She looks kinda scary right now, but trust me, she'll get better. And then I went ahead and took my eraser and erased the upper part of the circle just to create this um, almond shape almost uh, to create or to draw her eyes and then I went ahead and added eyeliner using technical pen from inking brush set and also added eyelashes as well so that's how that was really quick and easy to do and also added iris as well so you have to keep it really simple and flat and for eyes what you can do is you can create one eye then you just copy and paste it to the other side of the face and similarly you can do the eyebrows just create one and then just copy and paste it on the other side and as this is a flat character design i'm not really going i'm not really creating realistic looking eyebrows i'm just keeping them really really flat but also making sure that the front part of the eyebrows are kind of merging with the skin and they are not harsh as instagram brows so also this is a flat portrait but you can still add some shadows here and there and that's what i'm doing here i'm actually creating her nose using the soft blend brush and if you haven't watched my video on soft blend brush then you should definitely watch it this brush is amazing this actually paints and also blends at the same time so that is why i love using this brush and i don't really have to uh, switch back and forth between 
my blending tool or my brush so yeah basically what i'm doing is i'm just laying down harsh looking shadows with the soft blend brush and then just going ahead and blending those out a little bit or else you can just keep really harsh or hard looking shadows onto the face as this is a flat character so you don't really have to worry about adding shadows and blending those out you can keep them you can either keep them hard or you can keep them soft that's totally up to you uh, the main goal here is to keep them minimal you don't really have to make it realistic so that's a front part and this was the first time I was creating a different style of portrait or character because I usually do semi-realistic um, characters or portraits so it was kind of different for me but it was easy so yeah I went ahead and did the lips as well and it's simple again you can just keep the lips flat or totally hard looking or you can just you know blend those out in a realistic way and you can just keep a balance good balance between flat and realism that will look good now as you guys can see the face is kind of looking like a balloon right now so i went ahead and took my liquify tool and i am just making sure that the face is not looking like a balloon anymore and just fixing it and adjusting the whole face as this is a stylized character you don't really have to worry about um, facial proportions as such and you can be just crazy with your character so that's what i'm doing here as and as you guys can see as i did that the hair behind her actually you know uh, looked weird so i went ahead and also used the liquify tool over the hair as well just to adjust them around the face and yeah that's what i'm doing right here just adjusting the hair as well with the liquify tool i always keep my brush size uh to 50% maybe some sometimes more than that and just works for me like that now once that is done what I'm doing here is I am gonna add some shadows to her clothes and also gonna add some arms also because she's looking like kind of crazy right now so um, for that I'm using soft airbrush or soft blend I just use a combination of both but before I do that, I'm also adding some shadows here and there on the face as well because I was not satisfied and I cannot control my hands. Even though I was creating this flat looking character, I was so drawn towards, you know, adding shadows and highlights and everything because I'm so used to creating those when I create an artwork. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just with this darker skin kind of color, just kind of outlining the whole face because it lagged definition. So I'd highly recommend if you're creating a flat character, add some sort of um, outlines here and there because we're not adding any um, realistic shadows or highlights over the character that is why it is really necessary to add some sort of outlining there so that it doesn't like any definition so uh, yeah that's what I did and then I went ahead and I did the hair so again we don't really have to do realistic hair so we are free from that here so what I'm doing is I'm actually alpha locking the base shape that we had and um, using the technical pen from inking brush set I'm adding hair like strokes all over the hair from the top to the ends and I love using technical pen for creating eyelashes, eyebrows, hair and everything related to hair so because this brush is really really amazing and so yeah i used that and once i had these little hair strokes over that shape i'm just gonna go ahead and pick up my blending tool and gonna blend it out now you have to make sure you're not blending everything out just enough so that it is not looking crazy and once that is done what i'm doing is using my soccer brush i'm gonna take this really darker kind of color and gonna add um where i think i should be adding some shadows to the hair even though this is a flat character design there should be some depth uh to the whole thing even if you are going to use some flat shadows it doesn't really matter you have to add some depth to the whole character and yeah you can also add highlights but i just don't want to do that i think it's looking fine this way but if you want that you can just go ahead and add highlights as well to the hair and yeah or else you can just watch my video on how to draw hair 
or else you can so the same way I did her clothes as well and I added shadows here and there using soft blend brush because I love using that brush I decided the shadows and blended those out and I'm not really going deep into it not really making it look realistic at all and here what I am doing is I actually created a new layer just above the face and added clipping mask to it and changed the layer mode to multiply to add more shadows to the face I know this is a flat character but that is fine I just wanted to add more depth it was lacking depth so you can completely skip that part but if you want to do it you can just go ahead and do it just make it your own way create the character your own way and I went ahead and also added highlight to the nose the tiny nose just to make it stand out a bit more I also added blush to her face so that's what I'm doing right here and to merge the main character with the background what I basically do is I just pick up a color from the background and I create a new layer above all of the layers that I have and I fill that layer with that color in this case this green color and then what I do is I just decrease the opacity to 50% and I change the layer mode and I actually go ahead and check all of the layer modes that we have here and I see which one looks great. So in this case I went ahead with soft light and this um, option is now this part is optional you can skip this if you want to I usually do it when I'm creating a realistic or semi realistic character and you don't really have to do it right here but I just decided to do it because I do it anyways because I do it always so that's a little tip to if you want to merge your main subject to the background that's a little tip right there for you guys so that's what I did right there and then as usual I wanted to add some glowing elements even though this is a flat kind of illustration you don't really have to worry about it whatever your USP is whatever you're drawn towards or whatever elements you like adding to the whole painting you can add those and I like adding glowing elements I know they look realistic but you don't really have to worry about it we can match different style of illustrations together it's not a big deal so yeah I added these glowing elements and in case you don't know how to draw a glowing element I have a video on it you can do that basically what I do is I just create my element in this case the moon with the white color and then I duplicate the layer and then I alpha lock the duplicated layer underneath the initial layer and I change the color of it to the color I want the glow to be and then this and then I just add Gaussian blur and then I change the layer mode to add I know this is confusing like this but I'll but I'd highly recommend you guys to watch the video that I create that I made on how to add glow to any object you should definitely check that out and yeah I, at this point I was done with the portrait and that's how you create cute looking flat character in procreate now if you're using any other software you can just find um, substitutes to the brushes that I use here and you don't really have to worry about it but yeah if you're using procreate then yeah you're good to go so I really hope you guys enjoyed this mini tutorial if you did give this video a big thumbs up consider subscribing to my channel it really helps me it motivates me a lot to create content for you guys every week and then that also follow me on instagram and if you do create a cute looking flat character out of this tutorial and tag me on instagram and i'd love to see that other than that i'll see you guys in the next video